Okay, this problem we have uh, sine squared of 3x, then minus sine of 3x, and then minus 1. And this looks like, uh, to me, a, a uh, quadratic form. So if we say u equals sine of 3x, then u squared equals sine squared of 3x. That's going to give us u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0. And to solve this, right, we can't factor this because there's no, um, there's, there's no uh, factored form a way of doing this. We're going to have to use a quadratic formula. So um, u equals negative b, so it's going to be positive 1, plus or minus the square root of a squared, or sorry, b squared is going to be positive 1, minus 4 times a times c. a is 1, c is negative 1. It's going to be plus 4 times 1 times 1. All over 2 times a is just 1. So we get 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So u equals, if we type it into a calculator, we're going to get 1 plus the square root of 5, and then that's going to be divided by 2. So that's going to give me 1.618 approximately. And then the other answer is going to be 1 minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. And that gives me approximately negative 0 0.618. Of course, we didn't start with u, so we're going to, need to go back using this substitution here. And that's going to be um, sine 3x equals 1.618. Sine of 3x equals negative 0 0.618. And uh, we, need to, we need to do the arc sine and then divide by 3. So uh, doing the arc sine first, let's see what we get here. Uh, 1.618. And then the arc sine of this. which it doesn't work because it's over one, of course. Um, our arc sine can only allow values between negative one and one. That it's the inverse of sine and inverse uh, sine can only, uh, the highest value it, it attains, sine of x, the highest value it gets is one, the lowest value is negative one. So this is actually not possible. So this is not, not uh, or it's no solution. But the other one is gonna be possible because that is between um, negative one and one. So. That gives me, um, let's see, 3x equals negative 0 0.666196, then divide by 3. I get negative 0. Point, uh, a bunch of 2s and 0. Let's just see which ones are that here. And you'll notice that none of these things are my answer. That's because I have a negative radians uh, answer. So really, all I have to do here is on my answer, add 2 pi. That will make it positive. So I'm going to take this radians. I'm going to multiply it by, uh, or sorry, add by 2 pi. Because these are periodic functions. So uh, plus 2 times pi. That gives me approximately... Um, 6.075, and I'm sure that's just a rounding error there. 